Hello, welcome back to Chile TV channel. Today I would like to share with you performance calibration on Mercury shoes for steam boiler Burnham. Last week I uh, shared with you one of the video that uh, troubleshooting a uh, steam boiler had no fire but uh, had a pilot light. So this is the switch belong to that boiler. So today I'm continue this video and try to do calibration on this one. This is a mercury switch. A requirement for calibration uh, is uh, you need the uh, advice or you can mount this one on the board because this is mercury. You can see inside here, the mercury inside can turn in and out. So if you don't mount carefully, you, you do calibration will not uh, uh, correctly. See that? So you need to mount this guy like perpendicular to the horizontal. So uh, uh, in this calibration, I I need lower pressure gauge, but I don't have uh, lower gauge. I have a uh, higher scale pressure gauge, but I can read the number. And last time we found that uh, the pigtail and the nipple, both of them were clogged. But today I cleared them out already, and I clear very well. And now I start to mount this uh, mercury switch on the board. So I will do calibration. Before I mount this uh, mercury switch on the board, I need to do a uh, little work on the device. I will mount one side and the other side I'm going to mount again. Before you tie it up, you have to check the label. This shoe is uh, in the middle. Wow. Okay, right there. Right there. You see the air bubble right here, right in the middle. Let me show you. You should have a uh, perpendicular to the horizontal. Okay. That, uh, that's a requirement for Mercury Swiss calibration. The next one I'm going to try to uh, Let's tie this up a little bit. Right here. Sorry. And this one go over here. Okay. 
Okay, I remount uh, the pressure gauge. If you don't have the, the level adjustment for perpendicular to the horizontal, you can look inside of the switch has uh, a little balancer. So you can follow this. Follow this. If you don't have the level adjustment, the main uh, set at 5 psi. And the diff differential is uh, 0 0.2 psi. The mercury uh, pressure switch has two wires coming out, and I already hooked up to the meter. And uh, this is the pipe here, I hooked up to the pressure gauge. The pressure gauge, I don't have a lower scale pressure gauge, but I have a higher one, 0 to 100. So it's a little bit difficult to look at the number, it may not correct. Because at the lower scale, you can see correctly the number when you pump the pressure. And I don't have the hand pump, but I do have the, the cylinder. The cylinder is very tight. So I can pump the pressure here to the gas, and I can see uh, the mercury the switch we will activate. See? We activate. So, uh, this mercury switch, uh, you have uh, two sections. The main and the differential and uh, the main adjustment right here and the div adjustment right here you can move up and down with the screwdriver do this move up and down to uh, adjust correctly uh, the number that you like see up and down it's very easy and this one too whatever you like Right now set at 5 psi, 5 psi, you can adjust lower, but uh, what I found is the main adjust at 5 psi, so I keep this the same, right, Just keep it the same, so uh, when, when you pump up to 5 psi, contact will open. And when the pressure starts to drop, start to drop to 4.8 psi, contact will close again. That they call reset. Right now I'm going to show you on the paper. The main 5 psi, diff 0 0.2 psi. If the movement between 5 to reduce to 4.8 psi, the contact will reset. Okay, contact will close again. At 5 psi, contact will open. And because you adjust the dip at 0 0.2 psi, the, the dip, the difference of pressure for both becomes 4.8 psi, contact will reset. Okay, so uh, let's go to this. Let me pump up the, the pressure. Okay, right now my, uh, my mercury is uh, Swiss. Close. Here we go. It closed. Let me check. It closed. Okay. And I have no pressure on the inside the the, the diaphragm here. This is the diaphragm up here. Lucky the diaphragm didn't damage yet because uh, we have uh, clocks in uh, both ends here and here. So it's still good. So let me pump. Uh, let me pump pressure to uh, 5 psi. Here we go. Contact open. I have an open switch. Now let me release the pressure. Here we go. Release a little bit. Here we go. 0 0.4 psi. Contact uh, reset, which is uh, closed again. Okay, let me go to the beep. Contact close. Pump the pressure. Here we go. Contact open. I got open contact. I can see from my meter. Contact open, and I lost the sound. Okay, now. Now in the boiler system, in the boiler system, right? 
and uh, nothing in the boiler. Uh, no steam. Contact close. Let me see. Nothing in the system. The contact close. Okay, contact close. And the boiler we turn on. The boiler we turn on. And uh, when it turn on, uh, generate uh, steam. When it generate steam, then the pressure will start to come up. Here we go. Contact open. Boiler apply. Now let me uh, release the pressure. Here we go. Contact uh, close again. Reset. The boiler back on again. Okay. Then we go to the south. The boiler is uh, is on now because contact close. No pressure. Mercury switch close. Making up contact. Let me pump up the pressure. Here we go. Five psi. Boiler apply. Contact open. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, go uh, to the diagram. You can see from the diagram. Here we go. This is my thermostat adjustment. This is uh, low water cut off. So assuming that uh, thermostat call for heat, I don't have low water cut off. So contact close. This is my pressure switch, and this means over spill switch. Assuming that uh, no over spill, no over spill switch. And all the contact here, like the damper and uh, um, the heat uh, res uh, the heat detector, all the contact here, assuming they all close, ready for uh, the gas valve. So uh, when the pressure switches, right now, boiler apply, pressure switch the uh, contact making up, close contact, and bring the voltage out here to the gas valve, and the gas valve will energize, and you have the guy go to the burner and the boiler back on. That's it. Okay, this is just my small project to uh, explain and share with you how to uh, perform the calibration of uh, mercury pressure switch for steam boiler. Um, if you want to see clear the pressure when you pump it in, you can use a lower scale uh, pressure gauge. And uh, because I don't have the hand pump, I use the cylinder. Usually I work in the power plant I have uh, the hand pump and I have a little regulator. The air regulator, you can adjust the air, how much pressure you pump it in and stay there. And when you can, you can release the pressure or increase the pressure by air regulator. It's not like this. So this is just for, for fun and still because a uh, small, small pressure so I can use the cylinder. Okay. If you think that this video is uh, helpful, you can share, like, and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching Chile TV. See you again. Bye-bye.